Good morning, everyone. This is Dave and E. And today I'm taking you out to Avila Pier. It's very early in the morning, August 29th, 2021. And, uh, well, it's not that early in the morning. I guess it's about 7.30, something like that. Uh, early enough that there should be a nice little layer of fog here as we right into Avila Beach and uh, I'm just gonna go around the pier and just take some pictures some early morning photos of the pier see what what's interesting out here so I hope you'll stick around with me let's go Avila Beach and Port San Luis, three miles. A lot of hot springs around here. So we're close to the fault line where uh, I don't know if it's San Andreas fault, but uh, some fault line runs right through here, so there's a lot of hot springs in this area. I just love all the moisture here. Um, even though New Mexico's gotten more rain than we have this summer, uh, Santa Fe did. <laughs> um, it's just, you know, there's this beautiful kind of marine layer of air that reaches into uh, reaches inland in the mornings and it brings all this fog and moisture in so there's uh, a lot more foliage than I'm used to seeing in New Mexico and, uh, generally stays pretty nice and cool here even through the summer except on those certain days where it gets really hot but uh, a lot cooler here than it is in San Miguel uh, San Miguel California is just like a little patch of desert you know it's uh, gets up to 110 there often couple of really really hot days in San Luis Obispo when I was there um, I mean since I first arrived till now um, I've been here about three months close to three months and um, usually it's not too bad but there's been well, I'd say four or five days when it got really, really unbearably hot. So um, I'll quickly take you for a little uh, drive through the town of Avila here pretty small little town just one little street here and a few cross streets and then there's the uh, shoreline drive over here this little park they put in here to my right and uh, just take a quick drive around the town so you can see what Aval is like another pier there this one is accessible by the public
cool little business area here. A lot of little restaurants and kind of boutique shops. Surf school. That's pretty much it, you know. There's some little residential area over here, kind of on the hill, and uh, there's some condos they put in here. A little hotel, La Fonda Hotel. Oh, the Libertine Brewing Company has a little tap room here. neighborhoods are really cute. You can only imagine how wealthy you have to be to live here. It's the Avila Beach Community Center on my left. Some quaint little surf shacks here. Some apartments. There's a few little apartment complexes here. I guess that's their affordable housing. Which I'm sure is, you've got to probably wait for somebody to die to get one of those apartments. And that's it, that is Avila. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Go over this bridge here where the creek lets out into the ocean. San Luis Obispo Creek, I think. Maybe it runs into another river that comes out to the ocean. And there's the first pier, which uh, I don't think it's open to the public. Um, I'm not sure what it's for. It could be... Oh, it's a Cal Poly here. I guess it must be for uh, research. They use it for research so they don't let people out there. And Avila Beach on our left here. A lot of people like to bring their big uh, RVs out here and camp out. spaces out here I guess you can rent if you reserve it in your van in advance you can get a space for your RV <clears throat> definitely need a reservation in the summertime I don't know about the off season probably you could just come out here and find a spot see some people out there on the beach doing what they do one guy's got a fishing pole another person looks like he might be digging for clams or something must be going out because all the boats are pointing towards land. The fog layer is lifting. always surprised if I could find a place to park out here, but it seems like I always do.
to our right here we have Fat Cat's Cafe. People always seem to be smiling out here because it's just everyone's <clears throat> out here to have a good time. <clears throat> unhappy when they're fishing, right? Let's see if I can get a spot here looking out to see. <laughs> change your view a little there we go better view of the boats like that and uh, let's get out and take a little walk around There goes the flying fish. This is <coughs> the, uh, I don't know the official name of the pier, but Port San Luis Pier. Over the public. That is the flying fish on its way out to catch fish with a bunch of fishermen. A little fishing to her boat over here we got the Avila Beach whale watching club whale watching tour here getting ready to go out and look at whales So I noticed that captains always give the people a little speech before they go out to sea. Uh, 
Bunch of seals over here. Hanging out on that floating seal lounge. I guess it's they put it there specifically for the seals to lounge on because I don't see any other purpose for it. And here goes the Avila Beach whale watching boat firing up its engines then tying the boat. Hi. Why are you filming us? Why not? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I have seen personal space. Respect for other humans. Respect the First Amendment. First Amendment. No, I don't see any uh, issue there. It's just straight up First Amendment, bro. Either you support it or you don't. Asshole fucked up my video. Hate that. Trying to make a nice video and then somebody ruins it.
There goes the Pacific Flyer. Avila Beach Wheel Watching.com. Captain tried to violate my rights. Well, I guess he didn't do that. He just asked why we were filming, why I was filming him. I wasn't filming him. <laughs> He's probably one of those guys who thinks everything's about him. I like coming here in the morning. Uh, there's not as many people around. You know, usually by noon, this place is, has a lot of people. And there's a lot more activity. It's just so kind of quiet and beautiful here in the morning. A lot of wildlife here. Usually a few people here fishing, a couple of tours going out. A few early birds out and around now. And I'm glad I got up early this morning and came out to the Avila Pier. As you can imagine, uh, it is a bit chilly out here, so I wore some pretty warm clothing and brought a hat. And uh, now I'm just kind of walking, I'm just standing on the little floating boat launch here. It's a floating zone. Tour boats and stuff, get on their boats. Uh, this is the harbor behind me, some boats out there. just a really beautiful place. Thanks for joining me, you guys. I'll see you in my next video.